You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Okay, we're live. Uh, welcome to another Nerd Stalker interview. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, if you're on the West Coast, uh, this is Greg Voria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Uh, today, I'm pleased to talk with Nimran Badar, uh, the CEO of an amazing new Israeli startup. Uh, well, they're not that new, and he'll let him talk about that. Uh, called Glasses Off, um, live from Israel here on uh, Google Plus Hangouts. Um, as you know. Glasses Off has received some great press recently and, and uses this app to improve uh, the image processing function of the human brain. And I'll let Nimrod talk more about that later because he's a lot more of an expert at that than I am. So anyway, a little about Nimrod Madar. Uh, Nimrod uh, has an MBA from Babson College and uh, worked for a management consulting uh, company in Israel called POC and has held many positions in entrepreneurial companies and uh, in the last three years at the helm of uh, Glasses Off. Uh, so uh, good morning or good afternoon in Israel there, uh, Nimrod. Uh, thanks for joining us here on uh, Nerd Soccer Live from Israel. Hi, and thank you for having me. Uh, did you want to add anything else about yourself that you want to tell the Nerd Soccer audience? Well, actually, I think you did a uh, quite a good job. Um, I'll just add that I had a lot of experience in, um, you know, online marketing and uh, advertising from my uh, business experience at 888.com, which is one of the largest online entertainment company worldwide. And except for that, I'm uh, I'm married and have uh, three amazing kids. I think this this pretty much uh, covers everything. <laughs> okay, no, that's great. Um, so. Let's start uh, the interview and let's talk, tell the Nerd Soccer audience about how Glasses Off works. It's really amazing, actually. Okay, I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, in order to understand how Glasses Off works, we actually have to understand how the vision system works. And uh, probably whenever you speak to somebody about his vision and vision quality, immediately you think about the eye and the way that the eye functions. But the quality of a uh, person vision is determined by two different elements. One is the quality of the image captured by the eye, and second is the quality of the image interpretation of the brain. And actually people see in their brain, they don't see in the eye. The eye actually operates as a sensor. So what's unique about glasses off is that until now, whenever you had to improve or try to maybe even, you know, fix something in the way that your vision actually works, you had to be limited to the optic correction. What's unique about glasses off is that today we understand how the brain works, how the visual cortex in the brain works. And we're able to improve the way that the brain interprets information. So even if the image that was captured by the eye was not perfect, still if your brain works much better on image interpretation, then we can compensate for that. And this is what's unique about our technology. So even though your eye might not function perfectly, we're able to improve your vision quality by improving the image processing capabilities of your brain. Wow, wow. So um, this must have taken a lot of research, right? <laughs> <laughs> As you can imagine, I mean, unlike other startups, we're not really such a young startup. Uh, well, the scientist, Professor Polat, who started all the research, has been involved in brain research and vision research for the last uh, 20 years. Mm. And uh, last is off as a company started about seven years ago, and it was basically an R&D lab. So we've been researching the way that the eye and the brain interact for over six years, seven years right now in this company. And as I said before, Professor Polat has done it much earlier. And um, it took us a lot of time to basically come up with a working product, and this is what we have today, and this is what we actually launched in the U.S. just a week ago. Now, now that, that, that's fascinating. How did you come across this technology? Was this uh, just uh, you know networking through the uh, startup culture in, in Israel there, or how, how did you kind of come together with this uh, researcher? Well, actually, as I said, it is kind of a startup nation here in Israel. So, um, yes, in one of my meetings, I actually met one of the founders of the company. We talked about uh, different startups and technology, and immediately I understood that this is probably the most amazing thing I'll ever come across. And I immediately stopped anything else, and I just joined the company, and I've been here since. And I have to say, I'm extremely happy from this decision. Well, and um, you know, you got a lot of press on um, Wall Street Journal, and they they quoted some amazing 
statistics using this app uh, last week. So can you sh share and talk about some of the statistics of, of what you had in a lot of the studies um, of the success rate? And, and, and of course, right, um, you know, this won't cure physical issues with the eye, right? Um, but it would cure like this cognitive uh, connection, which can, you know, it's like, I guess it's like exercise. It makes it stronger, right? Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure that cure is the right word here, but uh, as you said, we're not really changing the way that the eye function, but we definitely improve the way that the brain function. Mm. So, um, again, if you want to look at statistics and, you know, how successful the product and technology is, we first have to understand that, you know, just like in any other condition, it has to do with the user that actually uses our technology. And obviously, we're not going to be able to reach exactly the same result for every person. Now, the brain can compensate for the eye, and you can reach a different level of what we call glasses free reading. So some people will be able to totally eliminate their dependency on reading glasses just by improving the way that their brain interprets information, and some of them will be able to eliminate the dependency on specific functions. So for example, if you just have to read your SMS, but if you have to read a full book in a very, you know, not a perfectly lit environment, then it's going to be harder for you. So obviously, as a company, what we have done is we have started the application. We haven't really discussed the application yet, but the application is comprised of a vision evaluation um, test. And once you complete that test, just after about two minutes, we'll be able to determine whether or not our current technology fits your specific needs. So if you are within the target audience, and those are mainly people between the age of 40 to 60, then your success rates are extremely high. However, if you're over the age of 70, then our technology can help you, but we will probably not be able to help you enough to totally eliminate your dependency on reading glasses. And this, actually goes to, this actually goes to a study that was conducted at the University of California at Berkeley um, just over a year ago, and the success rates there were, were phenomenal because everybody that participated in the study was able to read standard phone size without reading glasses just after about three months of using the technology. Now, obviously, when you're thinking about technology and startups, 100 success rate is, is not really normal. And the reason we reached that specifically extremely high success rate is that the study was limited to people between the age of 40 to 60. Right. So obviously, if it was just an open study and we would get people over the age of 70, then our success rate would have dropped. Yeah, I, 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 that, that makes a lot of sense because I think, um, and naturally, I mean, that, that, that target age range typically, and I, I've just entered that area, so <laughs> I think I might be able to benefit. I better start early, but um, but I think that, uh, <laughs> but I think that, uh, you know, this is such an interesting way of using an app. Um, here in the uh, SF Tech area, uh, we, we, are going into this area where apps could help the body, which which is exactly what you, uh, yours does. Um, we call it biohacking here, actually. Um, and, um, and you know, I don't think you want to associate uh, glasses off with biohacking, by the way. But but anyway, that that's that's <laughs> that's what we do here. And um, a lot of this uh, culture, at least this, I, let's call it a subculture here in the SF Tech area, is actually to do experimentations on yourself and actually develop a technology or an app or a process like what you've done with the app to help your body perform at its peak. And, right. You know. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, we're coming from, um, you know, from, we, we have probably some common, um, I would say, goals in the way that we actually approach that because we actually believe in empowering people and we think this is what we can do with our technology. Because, as you said yourself, I'm also over the age of 40, and a lot of my friends are already dependent on, uh, on reading glasses. And yeah. I don't feel old, obviously. I don't know about you, but uh, <laughs> when you're No, 40, I don't feel old. I mean, <laughs> definitely. So I don't see myself being, um, you know, limited by the, the necessity of reading glasses. And if we have the ability, and today, with glasses off, you have the ability to empower people to basically take control of their vision and to decide that, well, they want to improve their vision quality, they don't want to be dependent on reading glasses, then today we're able to offer that to some of the people, and I think this is a, a great, a great advantage and a great improvement in their quality of life, definitely for me. So, so take them through a, um, uh, you know, I think you recommend um, 
take them through how the app works in a, in a process standpoint, like on a day-to-day -day thing uh, uh, using your phone. I mean, if you could describe it, I know it's kind of tough here um, mm -hmm. without actually sharing the screen, but uh, or sharing the phone screen. But if you could just take them through that, I think they would get a better appreciation of um, how this app. Uh, works. It's almost like exercise. I thought when I was when I was thinking about it. So anyway, I mean, uh, I mean, the, the app is uh, it's a personalized technology. So what we actually do is we actually find the visual threshold for every person. And once we identify your specific threshold, then we actually train you on that specific segment and improve your vision quality on that specific segment. And again, every time you complete your session, the data is sent to our server. Everything is done automatically. But we have a very, very sophisticated algorithm that analyzes tons of information. And based on your specific answers and your specific vision condition, we're building a second session, which is, again, tailored specifically for you, and so on and so forth. And this is how we're doing that. Now, in terms of compliance, what people actually have to do, they have to play with this application probably three times per week. We actually recommend people to do that any other day. And uh, every session will only be about 12 to 15 minutes. So you can understand that uh, with your mobile phone, it's very, very easy to comply with the program. I mean, I would never leave my house without my mobile phone. So it's right. always next to you. And you always can find those 12 to 15 minutes required to complete your session. And just after about three months, and obviously this is changing from one person to the other, you're able to complete the program. And if you are fit, then you should be able to eliminate your dependency on reading glasses. If you use reading glasses before, then you will not hopefully be using them anymore. But some people actually decide to use the application even before they become dependent on reading glasses, just as a prevention mechanism. And again, there is also you know, a huge benefit in that, because you don't want to start using reading glasses and then trying to resolve the problem or the issue. You can just eliminate the initial steps and the initial requirement for reading glasses. Wow, well, that's cool. So, yeah, no, I think uh, we went through the app in pretty good detail here. So let's let's shift to the business side. Um, I think a lot of people, especially here in our audience, uh, want to learn or even want to hear about the business side. So, so let, let's talk about that. Um, you're based in Israel. How how many people are on your team? Well, we have 20 people on the team. Um, as you know, we are basically a U.S. company with an Israeli subsidiary that's responsible for R&D. Because until now, we're mainly focusing on R&D, so a lot of the operation was built was based in Israel. So most of the people today are based in Israel. We have a lot of scientists, neuroscientists that are working for the company, developers, and now marketing people and support team. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of the you know the actual business model, then we're working in a freemium business model, which means everybody can install the application for free. We'll let people complete the vision evaluation just to make sure that they actually fit the program. Because if the program doesn't fit, it just doesn't make sense yeah. to charge people and then a day later tell them, no, Chris, sorry, it's not really for you. And that's why we thought it's going to be very you know fair and reasonable to offer the well, the product for free, so people can install. They can actually use the product for a few weeks, probably about two to three weeks, until they complete the first phase mm -hmm. of the application. And only then they need to make a decision whether or not they want to upgrade mm -hmm. to the full subscription and complete their entire personalized program, or they want to take some more time to stay at the same level until they make this decision. Wow. Well, that's cool. So, so basically, um, all these, all these. These programs are 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 accustomly tailored because it's based on your personal data, obviously. Now, is there an average time uh, where people see improvement? Now, do they have to do this, you know, regularly after they enter the program, or is this kind of something that um, can be done over a period of time? They'll see the improvement, and it's it's uh, semi permanent or permanent. Well, it's very important basically to do this uh, entire process within a limited time frame. So let's say within three to four months. You don't want to spread it out because the, the brain, you know, needs to just to, to get to learn and to improve. And if you're just spreading those sessions over two or three years, then obviously it's going to be much less effective. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of what happens after you complete the program, then, as you know, there is one problem that we were unable to solve, and that's aging. 
So unfortunately, people still age. And as you age, your eye function will continue to deteriorate. So assuming you're still in the age group where you're still you know, deteriorating in the way that your eye function, then you will need to boost your brain. So what we're offering these people is basically to complete or to continue to an ongoing vision care program, which only requires probably one to two sessions per month. So again, it's only 12 to 15 minutes every session. So it's very, very easy. And I can tell you from, from our experience, because obviously, even though we've just launched the product about a week ago, we have a few hundred people that were using the application during the, ver the various beta and testing periods that we had. And after somebody becomes independent of his reading glasses, then complying with the, you know, the ongoing vision care program is extremely easy because you don't want to go back. You don't want to go back and become, again, dependent on reading glasses. Now, uh, you know, th this development of cognitive science in, in the brain using an app is really kind of fascinating. Now, is, is that your product business model or are you just really focusing on this right now and other products may come around this technology or around this uh, um, research that you can maybe develop further, but are you guys just focusing just on glasses off for the near future, which is <laughs> one one to two years? Well, definitely not. Actually, our technology is it's more of a platform because once you improve the vision interpretation in the brain, that anything that has to do with vision, and as you know, it's probably a lot of your day-to-day -day function, can potentially improve. So let's just take an example. Assuming you're playing baseball, and a pitcher throws the ball at you. If your vision processing works much, much faster, and you're able to interpret the information faster than your peers, then you have more time to make a decision. Is it a curve ball? Is it a flat ball? Mm. And then you can improve your gaming skills as well. So this is just one example. But obviously, once we improve the way that your brain interprets information, that anything that has to do with vision can potentially improve, and we're already working on additional products. Some of them have been published in the past. For example, you know, in the study that we have conducted at UC Berkeley, we've also shown that we can improve your reading speed because mm -hmm. your brain works faster on image interpretation, so you actually read faster. And this can be relevant for everybody, not just people over the age of 40. So obviously, in our pipeline, we have a lot of new products that we want to work on. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll 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 close off the interview there. I, it was a great, uh, you know, twenty twenty minutes of just discussing what you guys do, and it's really a fascinating area. I I think you guys have a really bright future here. So, um, anyway, uh, how do people get a hold of you and uh, get a hold of uh, Glasses Off? Well, very easy. You can just visit our website. Uh, you can visit our uh, Facebook page. We're very very accessible. We're actually looking for people to give us feedback. We are more than happy, you know, to learn from your community and from anyone else. Today, it's very, very important to get feedback from the market because at the end of the day, we have to make sure that the product actually fits the needs of our potential customers. And then you said yourself, you might be one of them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, anyway, thank you. Uh, that was uh, Nimrod Badar of uh, Glasses Off and uh, who's creating a greater vision for all of us. So thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Greg Vore, a.k.a. Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nurse Soccer Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Thanks, uh, Nimrod. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good day.